Hey there, I'm Emma, and I'm just gonna tell it to you straight. If you're running Teams meetings without Microsoft Copilot, you're wasting your precious time. Today, as a project manager, I wanna walk you through how I'm using Copilot in my day-to-day -day work. As a project manager, my day revolves around one thing, meetings. Preparing for meetings, facilitating meetings, and following up after meetings. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Now some would say, well, there's your problem. You just need to cut back on meetings. But I've found to be most effective with my time is actually to have quick stand-up meetings where I meet with the teams and we discuss things like project progress and if there's any obstacles or blockers. But even with short meetings, there's still a lot to do. I found using Copilot, it feels like having an extra set of hands on the meeting. It really frees me up to do what truly matters, the discussions and the interactions. We actually recently released a 30 minute webinar all about Copilot, where we walk through a lot of real world examples of how we're using Copilot within our company. Uh, I sit down with my boss, Matt Dressel, who gives great perspective on how leadership can get value out of Copilot too. So if you're interested in purchasing that and viewing that, you can look at the link in the description. So to begin, let's start with a thought exercise. Close your eyes and imagine you're on your last road trip. Are you sitting in the driver's seat? Are you sitting in the passenger seat? If you're in the driver's seat, do you have someone in your passenger seat? Maybe they're helping you navigate or queue up the next podcast? Okay, open your eyes. That is really the feeling I get when I'm using Copilot. I think Microsoft's actually really aptly named this tool because it's truly like having a Copilot next to you as you're driving. So using a Teams meeting as an example, let's think through all of the items you're usually juggling if you're a meeting facilitator. So you've got things like opening up the meeting, ensuring all the attendees are present, teeing up all the topics, introducing team members, facilitating the discussion, asking questions, responding to questions, capturing notes and action items, keeping the team on topic, wrapping up the meeting on time, you name it, the meeting facilitator is probably doing it. For me, I've really learned that Copilot can take some of these things off of my plate. And although it's not the entire list, it takes a few of those busy work items off so that I can really focus on being present and engaging in the discussion. You may have seen Copilot branding across a number of different Microsoft products. Some of these are free integrations and some of these require additional licensing. Today, I'm gonna to be focusing on the integrations within Teams and Microsoft 365. And I do wanna give the disclaimer, these do require the additional licensing, but in my opinion, they're super worth it. Now, when I say Copilot is my trusty companion, that trust was not born overnight. It actually took me about a week to really trust that Copilot can do what it says it can do. So let's talk about how to test and how to trust Copilot's ability to understand. So the question I had at the beginning when I first started using Copilot was, can Copilot really take comprehensive notes and understand all the human nuance that's happening during a meeting? So I tested Copilot on a full week of meetings where I was actually capturing my own notes, my own action items, and then I was comparing it to what Copilot produced. And then I would compare the two. This is how I approached really being able to trust that Copilot was able to capture the same level of detail that I was able to capture in my own notes and action items. And to be completely honest, I was a little humbled because Copilot almost did it better than me. What I've really come to learn with this tool is that you have to approach it with an experimental mindset. Meaning, if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. Okay, so you might be wondering, what do I mean by what Copilot produces versus the notes that I captured? So after a meeting that you've turned Copilot on, it actually allows you to analyze, we use the phrase interrogate, the transcript. So you can ask it questions based on the transcript that it captured and actually get your questions answered in regular human language. So you can ask it, can you generate meeting notes for this? Can you um, list the action items? Those types of things. And it will actually respond in the Copilot panel. So let me show you how to do that. So this is an example of a real meeting that I had a couple weeks ago. Um, you can see that this was not a meeting request Recording, I just did a simple transcript. So I'm gonna click on the transcript and you'll see that I'm just in the Teams app here. This opens up the transcript, obviously super long, which would be very painful to have to read through. But on the right hand side, you can open up the Copilot panel and this is where you actually enter your prompts to get the responses that you could, in theory, compare to what you captured yourself. What I've come to learn is that prompts really matter. And I've tried to approach Copilot with an experimental mindset because I've realized that if something doesn't work the first time, 
just try it again and see if you get a different answer. It almost feels like every time you put in a question, you'll get a different answer from Copilot. So I just encourage you to really try it out. I was really impressed that Copilot can actually understand human nuance. So one prompt that I've been using is when you're looking at a meeting and you're trying to decide, you know, what were people's feelings around a decision maybe? You can actually ask Copilot, uh, was this an easy de decision to come to? And it will actually respond and let you know if different meeting attendees were upset or in agreement or it felt like there was a lot of disagreement. Um, it can pick up on all of those things. So especially helpful when you missed a meeting and you're trying to figure out quickly without having to go back and watch the entire meeting recording or read the entire transcript, uh, if attendees were in agreement or if there was anyone that was upset by a certain decision. I've also found that you can ask Copilot super inquisitive questions, even about your own work style. So a couple weeks ago, I was dominating a meeting and afterward I asked it, I took over this meeting more than I should have, where were times I should have let Mike jump in instead of me? And Copilot can actually give you insights from the meeting with reference points on different areas that Mike could have jumped in instead of me. So that really helps me with my own professional development. So trusting Copilot with the task of capturing notes is one thing. I'm not suggesting that you just blindly trust Copilot to get everything correct. Uh, one thing that I, a phrase that I kind of like to use is this is Copilot, not Autopilot. So you are still driving, you just are doing so with a supportive tool next to you. So you do have to fact check. Copilot gives really helpful reference numbers at the ends of all of its responses. So you can easily fact check by jumping right to where that uh, point is in the meeting recording or in the transcript to really understand what was actually said. I haven't found myself needing to correct Copilot all that often, but it's happened enough that I found those reference numbers really useful. Um, I do really like to see where Copilot is getting making its inference from um, within the meeting. One example is when people are live in person in a meeting, such as a conference room, sometimes Copilot struggles to understand who is speaking, so it may say, you know, Mitch said something when it was actually Benjamin who said that. So I know up to this point, I've mainly focused on Copilot within Teams, but I wanna give a couple other examples of how Copilot can help you across the Microsoft 365 suite, uh, especially with some of those really painful, busy work items. Have you ever taken a boatload of notes during a meeting or a brainstorming session and it's just not worth your time to distill them all down into a shareable summary so you just don't do it and end up sending nothing? Copilot can help with that. Have you ever put off sending an email for a few days because you keep procrastinating to write it, even though you know it'll only take a couple minutes to write, but you have writer's block? Copilot will help with that. Do you ever end your meeting saying, okay, what was everyone supposed to do? And you wish you could double check yourself? Copilot can help with that. Have you ever been using Microsoft Whiteboard for a brainstorming session and participants were really engaged and gave a bunch of different responses and the act of having to distill all of that information down is super daunting? Copilot can help with that. So far, the assistance with meetings has been such a value add to my daily workflow as a project manager, but I'm still learning prompts and like I mentioned, the experimental mindset. So if you have a creative prompt that you really like using that extracts good insights out of that transcript, definitely leave it in the comments because this is a new tool for all of us. So I feel like the more that we can share uh, what we're finding to be helpful, the better we're all off.